65% of Christians don't think they need to go to church. That is dumb. I mean, how can you say you love Jesus and then reject the body of Christ? What's up, party people? I want to talk about uh, a few things that I think that we get wrong. If you're going to church and it's more of a burden than it is a joy, then I think we're getting it wrong. In fact, Jesus came and talked a lot about Sabbath rest with the Pharisees and how legalistic and goofy they made it, how unenjoyable they made it. And, and Jesus tells us that the Sabbath, that man wasn't made for Sabbath, but Sabbath was made for man. And so I think we get a lot of things wrong. The weekly worship service is one of the continuations of the oldest traditions in the church, and it goes all the way back to this idea of Sabbath and another idea of ecclesia. And so I think there are three things we really get wrong about church that I'd like to talk about in this video. The first thing we get wrong is we don't understand how important church is and why. The second thing we get wrong is we don't understand how unimportant we are and why. And lastly, we don't understand what the point of Sabbath and the Lord's Day actually is. So we actually get this idea of a Sabbath rest and church from two words, uh, Sabbath, obviously, and ecclesia. And both of these are a gathering together of God's people. As Jesus talked with the Pharisees about, it's not about us doing things that aren't good for us, but the Sabbath is about doing us, doing things the right way for us to be refreshed and to actually find good rest. There is an element of worship and joy in this, of being grateful to God for all the blessings that he's given us and enjoying those blessings, taking time to enjoy those blessings. I think it's really funny that a lot of people treat church and uh, Sabbath as like a drag. It's People don't really look forward to Sunday as much. It's one of those things that I've evolved into. I was in the same boat. I would not like going to church on some Sundays. I would feel like it was kind of a burden. But when I started reorienting my life towards God, I understand what a joy it is just to take time to appreciate the simple pleasures of life, spending time with family, extra ice cream, getting dessert, making good food, laughing with your family. I mean, it's funny to me because secular culture, uh, the Sunday looks more and more like every other day during the week, and we're called to take a day and make it holy. In fact, I think it's hilarious that Sunday has become much like every other day of the week, even for Christians. It doesn't look that much different. It's just a different type of appointment. Instead of going to school, you're going to church, but you have activities after. You're not, people aren't being intentional about enjoying this day. It is very important. Uh, Church is very important for Christians. It's where we get built up. It's where we get poured into. It's the foundation of our week. And so by ignoring it, we're ignoring this idea that God is filling us up for the week and for us to go out into the world and make a positive difference. But Brad, didn't Jesus do away with this command? Didn't he show the disciples breaking the Sabbath? And all? No, he showed the disciples enjoying Sabbath. And the thing that he set right was that it's not about legalism and it's not about not observing the Sabbath. Jesus actually did observe the Sabbath. He taught the Pharisees how to observe it properly. So this is not a law that Jesus came and did away with, although I would argue that technically you could say that, you know, it, it's a conscience thing and whether you observe this or not, but um, it is very important. It's still a command. God gave us a command to take Sabbath rest. Now, I think it's important at this point to, to go back to point number two, which is to remember how unimportant we are and why. And this is kind of a funny one because Sabbath was made for man, not the other way around, but we are unimportant. We are sinners. Even on our rest and refreshment, we're made to be re be refreshed by coming into the presence of God. We are made to be refreshed by giving to other people. And that is the exact opposite of what the world says. The world says that for you to be refreshed, people have to pour into you and you have to take what's yours and go out. No, Sabbath is completely different. We are unimportant sinners, but God tells us that we are worthy to have a Sabbath and that we need to have a Sabbath. And the reason that we need to have a, have a Sabbath goes into the last point I wanted to make, which is what is the real point of church? So I've kind of hit on this throughout the video, but I'm going to make it explicitly clear. The whole point of church is for us to come together and worship God, to take Sabbath rest, to be refreshed. It's about setting our foundation on God for the rest of the week so that we're poured into it and we can go out throughout the rest of our week and live out our God-given vocation. And the Sabbath and the Lord's Day worship isn't about you, but it is for you. 
So if we really want to look different than the world, we might as well look different in a way that is joyful and awesome and that we look forward to every week, that we're setting aside a day to gratefully enjoy and give praise to God for all the good things in our lives. What could be more countercultural than that?